The Himalayas are the highest mountains on earth, and they continue to rise. Not a silent, imperceptible rise, but one that occurs in sudden jolts. Giant earthquakes that violently lift the hills from the plain, thrusting up this majestic range on a fault called the main Himalayan thrust. The plains and foothills of the Himalayas are now home to 600 million people. This is the most populated part of Asia. The next great earthquake could take a million lives, an unmatched disaster in human history. We cannot just sit here and wait. We're in a race against nature. Our goal is to determine the length of the earthquake cycle before the next one hits. Like the great detectives of any crime story, we have to do a lot of digging. In fact, our search is akin to archaeology. We excavate trenches or refresh incisions that powerful rivers have already dug to uncover the faults and the signs of earthquakes of the past. This time there is an earthquake. The whole uh, escarpment here rises and, and grows. And uh, there are some very nice little faults that have been created by the movement of the earthquakes. Charcoals that you find in, in the ground uh, may be older than the time at which they became you know, sequestered uh, mm -hmm. in the ground. Also. Yeah, that's my question. Could they yeah. have gotten into the ground there without there having been an earthquake? Uh, well, no, 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 they no, will no, be there course, without they, earthquake. It's not the charcoals yeah. are not are not uh, related to the earthquake. earthquake. Yeah, but they allow us to date the earthquake. The charcoals themselves may be older than the sediments in which they are. <laughs> giant is sleeping, but for how long? Join us as we sift for clues of the seismic cycles of the past, in the hope of leading millions out of harm's way.